Microsoft Windows is a pretty popular operating system. Maybe you are using it right now, but there are a few really strange versions of it that you may or may not have seen before. The first unreleased version is called I have prepared a quick history lesson for this one. Longhorn was originally planned as a minor bridging release between Windows XP and a future major version codenamed Blackcomb, which would later evolve into Windows 7. However, Longhorn's development was quite disastrous, because Microsoft stuffed it with a lot of ambitious features like WinFS, something called Avalon and .NET integration. The project grew bloated and unstable, with dozens of buggy development builds produced. This was also the first time the air team appeared. In August 2004, after compiling the final build, Microsoft had hit a breaking point and scrapped the entire codebase just a few hours later. The operating system was rebuilt from the ground up using a Windows Server codebase, and after nearly three more years of work, it was finally released in 2007 as Windows Vista. I have installed the build 4074 of Longhorn, and it was a bit difficult to get it to work properly. There was supposed to be a loading screen. So as we can see we have the Aero team on this OS. The reason why everything is so laggy is because this OS is incomplete, that's one reason. And the other one is because I may have installed the wrong graphics drivers for it. The drivers that I have here are apparently for more modern operating systems. And so because of this, every time I open some program, my screen goes black. Checking out Longhorn's features, there is this sidebar, which later appeared in Windows Vista. I do not understand the point of it. We have 60 days to give Bill Gates our money. Oh, and by the way, these stars that we have floating on the desktop, they are called Aero Stars. These stars are just eye candy, and they don't serve any real purpose. Now let's check out the Windows Media Player. It is so laggy. Thank you for installing the all-in-one media player. And there we have it. I cannot grab it for some reason. I'm having problems with this operating system already. This reminds me of Winamp. I think I forgot the sound drivers as well. So let's forget about that. And these icons actually look pretty interesting. Why does the menu look like this? This notifications history panel was a feature that was apparently scrapped and never made it to Windows Vista or any Windows version. Is this copy of Windows legal? What even is that? Let's check out local disk. And this is how the file browser used to look like in this version. Tip of the day. I wanted my tip of the day, but I guess we're not getting it today. But at least we have some themes. Win we have Windows Classic. What I also found interesting is that on Longhorn there is a Bliss wallpaper, which I thought was the name for this one. The Windows XP Bliss wallpaper. I have no idea why it's different in Windows Longhorn. There are also some other really cool wallpapers. I still want to read my tip of the day. Can I read it? Or have I forgotten graphics drivers, the correct ones? Help and support. My system doesn't work properly. There used to be a Windows community. This is how the music folder looks like. If you don't mind all of this black stuff. Oh, and you can create your own as well. I think I might have crashed the system. What, what did I just do? Okay, just changed our wallpaper. The one that I set previously. This game matches you with players from around the world. Something tells me that no one is actually gonna be online. I guess let's try it out anyway. I'm probably gonna get like a virus connecting to this game server. It is downloading all of the viruses. Object of the game. You win by being first player to move all of your stones counterclockwise around the board. And it just disappeared, okay. Microsoft Windows used to have this search feature, which was separate from the file explorer. What are you looking for? It could not find pinball for me. And so Longhorn is pretty cool. But now... Windows Neptune was supposed to be a successor to Windows 2000, and the first OS built on the Windows NT code that was meant for home usage and regular customers. The previous Windows versions at that time that were built on Windows NT were meant more for businesses. However, Microsoft abandoned this project. They combined it with another Windows project called Odyssey, and then all of this later would become Windows XP. There is only one available build of Windows Neptune, and I happen to have it. Let's actually start by changing the display resolution. Let's set it to 720p. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, and yeah, this one had the old... If you try to move a window, there's only the outline showing. 
This can be changed, actually, as I later found out. But one thing that completely caught me off guard is how customizable this operating system is. You can change pretty much any UI component and attributes like size, color, font, font color, basically everything about it. We lost our wallpaper, or did we? Okay, we didn't. Why is there so much customization? The scroll bar. You can customize the scroll bar size, okay. What else should we customize? Active window border. That's actually pretty cool. The fact that there's also multiple different presets for something like this. It changes all of the colors and the font as well. This almost feels like Linux. So let's see, what do we have in effects, visual effects, smooth edges of use large icons. Okay, they are large, very large. Show window contents while dragging. That's a lot better. Use transition effects for menus and tooltips. What does that even mean? Oh, I see. This is pretty freaking cool so far, okay. And one thing that I found interesting is that if you open up Internet Explorer and go to the help section, you can find something called tips for Netscape users. This exists because at the time of developing this OS, everyone was using Netscape as their web browser. And Netscape was bigger than Internet Explorer. What wallpapers do we have? What is that? I guess let's try this one out. It looks really freaking pixelated. I'm not sure, maybe it's on my part again, but it still looks pretty cool. Windows Media Player. This media player looks so different in every version of Windows. But now we get to... Windows Whistler was what eventually became Windows XP. The earlier development builds look a lot like Windows 2000, while the later builds look a lot more closer to Windows XP. I have the build by the number of 2446. So as you can see, it, it already looks really... Oh my god, no. It turns out that the operating system I had prepared for this video a few hours earlier had broken out of nowhere. Now I had to completely reinstall it. I went through the whole installation process again, which took a while, and eventually we were greeted with a loading screen. That looks like a PowerPoint presentation, to be honest. And we have a friend. Welcome to Whistler, I'm here to help set you up your new computer. This is Merlin. He is a small wizard assistant that lives on your operating system and helps you with everything. It's pretty much like Microsoft Clippy. And here we are inside of Windows Whistler. Straight away it looks a lot like Windows XP, because it, it is pretty much Windows XP. I changed the resolution and I do not have some kind of drivers installed, I think. I'm not sure if it's a drivers issue, but I was experiencing screen tearing. I was too lazy to fix this, so I decided that we don't need the drivers. What is this? Show desktop, Amazon Explorer. Let's get started. This will only take a couple of minutes. Okay. I think the shortcut was F2 to bring up the wizard guy. I'm pressing the button, but nothing is happening. Where are you, wizard? Windows Media Player, let's check it out. And it has crashed. Hmm. This is pretty much just Windows XP. We can switch between Windows Classic, which is the old team, and the Whistler one, which is more like Windows XP. Activate Windows. It used to be a separate program. Microsoft Sam. I have heard about this guy. You have selected Microsoft Sam. Has the computer's default voice. Swa, 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 swa. He sounds so freaking creepy. I'm already recording this at almost 1 a.m. This is just making it worse. This is Windows XP's control panel. File a bug report. Report a bug to the Windows Whistler beta team. Why is it so long? Are they actually still receiving these bug reports? And that was Windows Whistler. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.